got a new microphone. <laughs> Look how cool this shit is. I got it for Christmas because I wanted like a really professional one so that I could start doing like more singing if I wanted to because all I had was a lapel mic. But apparently it is a very sensitive mic so I need to be careful with some of it. And that's probably the best I'm gonna look today. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna have to deal with it because I have tried filming this video before and it was really bad. <laughs> I was crying, it just wasn't that good. I wanted to film a video before the end of the year because I don't really know how to style my hair anymore because I've never had, I haven't had it this long in like, seven years because i don't usually let it grow out i'm a little uncomfortable today's not the best day in the world but it's been better than others i've been kind of just walking around my house feeling like a ghost <laughs> today i haven't done too much but it's it's okay you see, you see my christmas tree over here it's hiding a lot of things behind here because I wanted the setup to look somewhat decent. I'm also sitting on top of my desk <laughs> rather than at the chair because I wanted everything to be seen in the background. 2020 has been pretty insane, but I know that a lot of people have said that in better words that I can put together. So I'm not, I don't want to like just be complaining the whole time. I kind of want to just give like an end of the year review slash life up thing I don't know honestly I just want to like find a little bit of closure with the year because I think everybody deserves a little bit of closure from this just bad year <laughs> mostly for me I actually have like a mix of height like really really high and then really really low so I can't be like this year was completely bad or this year was really really good because it was really neither of those so I don't want to pretend that I'm doing a lot better than I am because I'm not really doing too hot <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm on new meds, but you know, med medication can only do so much. You have to do a lot yourself and I'm still struggling with that part, but it's whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to pretend that I'm not helpless <laughs> cause it feels like that sometimes. I almost don't really know what to talk about cause last time I filmed this, I did like a, a good thing and a bad thing. Like I, that's how I structured the video, but I don't really want to do that cause it made me cry and I don't feel like crying, but I also don't want to like diminish my own emotions from this year because it was very difficult and a lot of my coping things from this year didn't really help in the way that I wanted them to like especially with my channel because I mean yeah I, I did like upload a bit throughout this year not as much as I wanted to because I really wanted to put more like effort into my channel but I don't one I'm not good at this <laughs> and two I I don't have a lot of ideas that I can actually like practically do like because I really like horror but I don't have the skills necessary to do horror related things to like the degree that I want them to be done but I'm I'm also just running out of motivation and creativity. Like I haven't really been able to write anything original lately. I haven't been able to have like an original video idea, which is why a lot of my videos this year were like painting because I don't have to physically talk a lot during them and painting is still something I enjoy, but I just find it difficult. So it's like, I wish I could have done more painting, but I also am ha I'm okay with what I was able to achieve through that. But that's, I don't want this channel of mine to just be one thing or another because what it's come to is like this channel doesn't feel like me like I, I look back through my videos and I don't like see myself in them anymore the only video of mine that I actually enjoy re-watching of myself is my, my Muppets video <laughs> and that was like my first ever video and it's bad like the editing is not that good I was sitting in the squeakiest chair I possibly could have and I was holding a <laughs> the microphone that I used in that video was the ones that you used to plug into like the the Wii systems and use for their karaoke singing things like the Disney games and everything so like I've come a long way with like my technology I think my editing skills have gotten a little better but
but they're still very basic because all I use is iMovie because I, I can't afford anything else. So it, it's really hard for me to want to continue with the channel of mine because I'm not getting as much enjoyment out of it as I thought I would and I'm not even good at what I do end up doing. I'm struggling with that a little bit and I'm still deciding on where I want to take all this because I still like parts of the channel. Like I like art. I like looking at dumb videos. I like doing artistic things here and there but I'm not funny so I can't just keep doing commentary videos because that's it, it's not they're not good and I don't want to be just an art channel because I know that I'd be doing myself a disservice by not doing anything that's like horror related so I'm just kind of stuck I guess I don't really know what I want to do anymore I mean I have a podcast mic I could just switch this into a, <laughs> a podcast channel but I don't I don't really know exactly what I want to do because I mean I guess if I was good at what I did I'd probably keep doing commentary videos and stuff but I mean the only like original video I've done is my research thing on Patterson Gimlin film and everything else is me reacting to things with bad jokes <laughs> so I don't know mostly I'm just feeling very unmotivated and just kind of tired because I mean mostly I do videos for myself but I mean like I also want them to be enjoyable for people who watch them all five views I get for each video I'm not really good so who knows I might abandon this channel which I've been thinking about I kind I just I like I wouldn't I wouldn't delete it because a lot of my life is on there I mean it kind of sucks because I feel like I lost a lot of myself this year like more so than usual <laughs> I think mostly I'm unsure of what I want to do just generally in life and with this channel and I don't know what to do <laughs> I've been sitting on it and thinking really hard about it, especially since the last time I tried to shoot a video of a review of the year and I can't, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I really don't, <laughs> I know I keep saying I don't know, but I feel like I have nothing <laughs> really. I don't have a job, I don't have my own place, I don't even feel like I have myself <laughs> anymore because I'm a mess and I can't rely on myself, I don't have my friends really have my family and I'm just upset all the time. I'll probably tear up in a second because I can feel it. <laughs> but I'm just not happy and I wanted my channel to be a place I could go to be happy and do dumb shit but I keep getting in my head about the fact that I'm not funny and I'm not good and there's no point in filming videos for myself when I don't like it and then nobody else likes it because nobody watches them. <laughs> I kind of just want my channel to go away because it's not really doing anybody any good. I literally stopped editing the other video that I made because I cried and now I'm crying in this one and I'm not gonna refilm after today. So like this is it. I'm getting tears in this video apparently. It ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Like, I feel like it's important to show emotions like these, even though I don't like showing mine. Because I feel like you need to, like, create a world where people can feel validated in their feelings. But it's like, I know that my feelings are already valid, and I just don't like having them. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I also keep scratching my head. I think that's- it's, it's a nervous tick of mine. I, I can't- if I could do anything right now, I wish I could just sit down and just- write just write for hours and I, I i can't i can't do it it's so not only is it really time consuming which is fine sometimes when like you're really into it but like i don't even have motivation or ideas like i, I have like like i write down little like sticky notes for myself whenever i do have ideas and they're usually just one-liners but i i can't ever extend them into something bigger and it just sucks Everything sucks. It just really sucks. I, <laughs> 2021, I don't want to put any expectations on the year, but I can feel that it's just gonna be another bad one. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I don't have a job. I don't have a job lined up and I graduate in May. I'm running out of time <laughs> and I'm really scared. <laughs> And I know I'm never gonna be on the streets because my parents won't ever do that to me. Like I always have a place to come back to, but I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna be here forever. <laughs> I live in small town New Jersey and it's 
bad here and I can't afford to go anywhere else. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep crying, so we're just gonna talk through it because like I'm sad, but I'm also like not breakdown sad, so we're just gonna cry through some of this. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I feel really stuck and I've picked up on bad habits lately and I only just now have a car, but I can't see anybody, so there's no fucking point in having a car. And I don't have a job, <laughs> I can't go to school, and I can't see my friends, and I can't see my classmates and my teachers, and it's just really bad. <laughs> I mean, I, I tried to clear up my head a couple days ago, I think it was a couple days ago now. <laughs> And I went hiking and it didn't help because the place I hike is the place I've gone to with so many people and I was alone. So all these bad, all these sad memories kept popping up in my head. I don't <laughs> want to feel like this for the rest of my life, but I felt like this for like a decade. It doesn't feel like it's getting any better. It's just getting heavier. <laughs> all right, I gotta, I gotta stop crying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that this hasn't been the most uplifting and festive <laughs> videos I've done. I just felt like I really needed to get some of these thoughts out to people who will never see it, <laughs> except for me. I just want things to be okay, and they're not. I guess I will see where next year takes me if I do decide to come back to this channel, if I, if I end up really needing it for anything. I just hope that people kind of just stick around, because I know there's not a whole lot of you out there, and I know a lot of you don't watch the videos that I post, which is, I want to say it's fine, but it's not. <laughs> but I understand at least, but I was never expecting to get any traction with this channel, like at all. And there's 89 of you out there who are subscribed to me and that might not seem a lot to a lot of people, but it does mean a lot to me to at least know that 89 of you out there thought my stuff was nice enough that you wanted to subscribe and see more. So I do appreciate you. Um, so thank you. <laughs> Like, deeply, I, I appreciate you. I'm still gonna be around, if not on YouTube, I'm always on Twitter. I mean, I know that my, my links are always in the description, but I'll just- I'll also put it somewhere on screen. My- my Twitter at is hey Nancy boy, because <laughs> I am a Nancy boy. <laughs> I have things to look forward to. I've got one more great semester at school. I'm gonna be learning a new language in the spring. I can have the chance to learn more medieval and ancient history and learn how sentences work and linguistics and more about American history which I don't fucking care about but it's important to learn so I'm gonna learn it. I guess my advice to myself but also to anybody who sits there and watches all the way to the end is even when you want to stop keep going with some aspect of your life it doesn't have to be every single aspect of your life but keep going somewhere because even if you don't have anybody out there who appreciates you or cares about you know that i care even if i don't personally know you i care so deeply for you for being alive and for continuing on and moving forward when life is a shit show. I appreciate and cannot even say how strong that makes you. And even if you're, you can't keep going and you have your own issues, I'm still proud of you. Like, my <laughs> compassion for everybody out there does not stop with people who I deem strong. It goes to everybody who is struggling with literally anything. So, know that somebody out there is thinking about you and is hoping that you're doing okay and then hopefully okay goes to good and good goes to great great goes to excellent and you keep going until you don't even remember the days when things were bad i just i i hope we can all get there i i don't know if the world we've made will allow that anymore but i hope maybe we can carve out some sort of peaceful place even when like we're all underwater somewhere <laughs> I'm sorry for crying at y'all for I don't know how long I've been recording. Thank you for sticking around. And I hope 2020 treats us all with a little bit of kindness. Because <laughs> I think we could all use that now. <laughs> I'll see you then. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah.